Hi everybody, welcome to my Ireland adventure. This is going to be one of the first videos on my channel. At the time of recording and uploading, it uh, feels like one of those things, it's a big step and it takes you, it's taken me a, a while after recording this just to finally get around to making the video and actually putting it and uploading it. But it'll be quite interesting to look back on this video in a year and see how, how sort of different everything is now. Just a little sort of time note to myself about where it all starts and where I'm going to go. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like in maybe a year or 10 years time. Who knows how long it's going to go. I'm looking forward to sharing my adventures and places that I like to go. I'm always looking for new interesting things. This channel is going to be about going on adventures, finding cool places. Here's, here's the first video and the Ireland tour video series. There's some amazing landscapes and some unbelievable places that I was incredibly lucky to go to. It was just perfect timing, like driving through mountains with the sunset and these twisty roads. It's just something you, you just can't sort of explain or recreate to people. Hopefully I can show you what it was like and I really hope you enjoy this. So here's the video. Hello everyone and welcome to what is going to be my trip to Ireland. I live in Aberdeen, Scotland. I'm currently in Dundee. I didn't bother filming anything on the way here because if you live here you know the road from Aberdeen to Dundee is mind-numbingly boring and all there is to see is farms. So I'm going to show you the bike. Here it is. This is my bike. It's a Fat Bob 114 got it loaded up with thrashing bags this is just a <laughs> a big waterproof that I got off my dad at some point it's a big duffel bag but it holds a lot of stuff I have been uh, on a, a trip before and I got really hacked off by the putting up a tent in the rain and it put me off camping so I bought a tent that you basically just it's a pop-up tent it's quite big but for the ease of use and if it is absolutely lashing down with rain it's easy to put up so yeah it's a bit you know <laughs> it's a bit chunky but it's gonna make life a lot easier and if I don't need the extra room for something else then why not it's just sitting on a rack at the back down here at the bottom in the swing arm bag I've just got sort of emergency repair things like cable ties tools duct tape <laughs> that that sort of junk some spare petrol which i don't think i'll need but it's there anyway just in case i'm really hoping the weather's going to be great there's meant to be a yellow storm warning <laughs> so we'll see how that pans out but i think it's just the very the very edge of the storm that i'm kind of going through so it shouldn't be nothing nothing too bad i'm gonna stop somewhere now but i don't know between Glasgow and Dundee, or between Dundee and Glasgow. So that's a brief summary of what I'm doing and my bike and how I have it set up. Nothing too fancy. So it's gonna get back on the road and crack on. Stopped at Stirling Services just after Perth but before Glasgow. Just gonna stop here for 10 minutes, get off the bike. My arse is pretty burst. Have a juice, grab some lunch, something to eat, and then head on the way. At least the sun's out. I don't feel quite brave enough to take the waterproofs off yet though. Just walked past some guy in his car saying it's roasting. Clearly you've not been on the bike in the pissing rain for two hours. So managed to get lunch. It was literally the last pastry on the shelf. So that's good. My next stop I'm looking at is going down and stopping at Air, which is another hour away. I think one hour increments are about as much as I can take before uh, I can't feel anything. <laughs> uh, I'll show you where I've been so far. So far today, come from Aberdeen, traveled down 
through Dundee and stopped at Stirling. Continue from where I am now at Stirling and head down to Air and then down to grab the ferry and across to Ireland. This will be the worst day, just like hours and hours of motorway. But once I get there, down to the ferry and across to Ireland, and hopefully lots of things to see and do. Hopefully it stays warm enough to take the rain jacket off. Or hopefully it just doesn't rain. All right, let's crack on. Last we arrived at air, just stopped off at the Asda, grabbed some more juice. I've got another hour or so of driving. I need to look up the name of the place I'm going. I'm going to butcher it, I don't actually know what it's called. But I'm getting the ferry there to... <laughs> I don't know the name of either place. So I'm getting the ferry from a town called Cairn Ryan. They do ferries to Belfast and the place I'm going, which is a town called Lairn or Larn in Ireland. After that, set up a tent and see how much time we've got left. Ideally, if there's enough time and it's good weather, I want to go up this big hill beside Belfast and get awesome photos and drones, drone shots up there. So I'm taking a chance, all the wet weather gears come off. The storm warning, I think I've just missed it, has come in behind me. It's 23 degrees here in air, so the rest of the day hopefully will be quite nice. Apart from buying sparkling water. And that's just one of those mistakes you just don't want to make. I've never taken a ferry before. I don't really know what to do, like where to put my bike and all that. It's nothing hazardous flammable fears for your fire arm, is not? No. You don't That's it, first part of the journey done. Aberdeen to Cairn Ryan. Just waiting to get on the ferry now. 
they've told me it's uh, not too big a deal. Uh, they've got loads of tie down straps and they, the bike's normally going first, so everything should be sorted pretty quickly. It's about a two hour trip, but I'm looking forward to it. The new experiences are what it's all about. Now we just play the waiting game to get on the ferry. Set up a tent. Here's the view. I honestly can't believe how nice it is. The whole day I was worried it was going to be a terrible like rain and thunderstorm but turns out I must have just totally missed it never know what tomorrow brings but hopefully it stays like this things are looking up and I'm really excited to get on with the next the next part of the journey but can't ask for better than this
Okay, so that's me arrived at the campsite. Just the way to get set up. Uh, I'll show you my five minute tent. Not even that. It's like 20 seconds. Crazy. <laughs> That was easy. I am gonna have a serious problem if it stays this hot. No one likes sweaty kneecaps. I've also figured out a good use for my sparkling water because sparkling water sucks. Oh well, at least the bike's clean. So, I've been speaking to the owner of the caravan park and he's suggested not to go to Cave Hill this evening, especially with the motorbike. Just go during the day. Uh, the area I want to park, which is close enough just to have a quick walk there. It's a bit dodgy at night time and there's you know, a higher than usual chance of getting your motorbike stolen, which is definitely not something I need. But there is a small sort of woodland walk with a waterfall. I'm gonna go try there instead. It's only like a 10 minute drive, so nothing, you know, nothing excessive, especially after today. I just wanna relax, maybe go for a walk along the, the harbor, see how I get on. It says it's called Gleno National Trust, so Gleno Waterfall, I guess. Right, I'm just gonna head there. Just walking through the path to the Gleno waterfall. There's a lovely bridge here. How cool does that look? The waterfall's cool though, you can see already. I'm trying not to fall down these stairs. Right, gonna need to find somewhere to take a photo now. I'm not too sure where's best. I'm quite glad I came here. Hopefully it just goes straight up to the top of the waterfall. That'd be really cool. But, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. I'm glad I came up here. If you can see, down there on the left is the waterfall I went and took a photo of at the bottom. And it goes all the way back up here and along through there. I can't get over how humid it is. It is 21 degrees. Every, every city seems to have a tropical garden. It feels like I'm walking around in one of those. I'm still outside. It's 7 p.m. and it's crispy or sweaty. All right, back to the bike. I think I'm just gonna head back to the caravan site now and have a walk around the harbor. I've also got only so much I can film every day. I've only got the one memory card with me and I don't want to use up everything obviously in one day. So I can film about two 
over the footage of day. But for now, I'm just gonna head back to the caravan. Well, the tent. So I've decided just to stay here for the evening. It's gonna give me a bit of time to get some energy back, go for some food, have a walk around, see what it's about. Until tomorrow, see you then.